Visibility a bit of a factor with that blowing snow. You can see it here just in that parking lot. And then Zane and Chris in Fayetteville, they sent this photo into our newsroom earlier today where you can see that some of those cars across our viewing area, they actually had some parts that were iced over in these cold temperatures. A big thank you to everyone who has sent in pictures and videos of the weather so far, and we'd love to see more. You can text those pictures or videos to us to 5 News at 479-785-5000. And we are taking a live look outside in Fayetteville where you can see this is just a part of Dixon Street where it is cold. Doesn't look like a lot of people are out there, but meanwhile, the River Valley, it hasn't been hit near as hard as the snows and wintery mix, but it's still bitterly cold and windy, right, Matt? It is. The wind's getting everyone, though, so whether you got so much snow or not, really doesn't impact uh, how cold we're going to get because guess what? Even in the River Valley, you're thinking, hey, we didn't get as much snow. Maybe we're not going to get as cold. Here's the problem. The cold air is coming for the snow was. that We've had some snow across northwest Arkansas. It was thicker across parts of northeast Oklahoma. We had some snow squalls. In fact, we had our first snow squall warning ever in northeast Oklahoma history. Think, what's a snow squall? Essentially think of it as a temporary intense blizzard warning. We had some snow coming down in big ways. Uh, now, generally across northwest Arkansas, it's real hard to figure out how much snow you got because it blows around a lot. It's very dusty, but overall about one up to two inches. A lot of us are closer to that one inch mark. We had some in the mountains too. In the river valley, some of us got a bit of a dusting. You know, sometimes you just see a couple snow grains kind of in the dirt there, the grass. Some of us see a little bit more overall, a little bit more towards the north, but it's cold no matter where you look. This is a live look in Bentonville. You're looking outside. We've got sunset taking place. Clouds are trying to push on out, but we've got a layer of white there. We had the most snow in Benton County and Carroll County today because the, the center of the storm was not here in Arkansas. In fact, it's well off towards the north. It's in Michigan. So the farther north you go, the more intense the snow is going to be. We just barely got clipped. So we barely got clipped even in the River Valley. Even in northwest Arkansas, we barely got clipped when you look at the whole storm system as a whole. Now that snow continues to press east. That as the cold air presses east, but now the snow's out of here. We're just talking about cold air for the next couple of days. We have now dipped below zero in parts of Benton County, and that's the first time we have done it anywhere in Arkansas since that big storm that we had. Remember February 2021, just almost two years ago? That's the last time, 674 days we've gone since we've dipped below the zero degree mark. We've done it now. We'll likely to dip below zero in Fayetteville here in the next couple of hours. We're going to be close. I think some of us in Sequoia County, maybe even LaFleur County, we may dip below zero tonight. It's going to be cold. Otherwise, we'll be in those low single digits tonight, no matter where you live. But down to zero in Springdale, Highful, Tawny Town, it's cold in Tawny Town. We're cold in Clarksville. We're in the teens. But the warmest spot overall, we're going to be dipping to the single digits here shortly in Clarksville as more of those northwest winds come in. Check this out. This is just over the past 24 hours. We are now 30 to almost 50 degrees colder than we were this time yesterday. Remember this morning, we were waking up in the 40s and then we just dropped. In Fort Smith, right around 9 o'clock, we went from, I believe it was 41 to 31 in just about 30 minutes. That's a big change. Uh, we still have those feel like temperatures. Of course, it feels like it's negative 20 to negative 24 in northwest Arkansas. We feel like we're well below zero throughout the River Valley. And by tomorrow morning, it's going to be the same. Those wind chills are not going to let up, and they're not going to let up tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, we're going to try to climb to the teens. We'll have some sun, too. We're, we're getting that sun out now. Of course, the sun's setting now. But we're clearing out the clouds. We're going to have a lot of sun tomorrow, but it's going to be cold. Wake up with meteorologist Zach Scott tomorrow. You want to check out the temperatures. They're going to be impressive, especially as we move the clouds out. We don't have that blanket anymore. We're going to just continue to watch temperatures fall. Here's a look at Futurecast overnight tonight. You can see those clouds continue to push on out. Those strong northwest winds linger right over us. Temperatures continue to drop. It's going to be a cold start for your Friday, and it's going to be cold for the next couple of days. I don't think we're going to get above freezing until Christmas Day. So for some of us, we're staying below freezing 72 to 78 hours straight. And then once we break above freezing, Tiffany, we actually got some nicer weather on the way. In fact, we've got some 60s on the board here. Thursday of next week, not looking too bad. But at least we have the sun the next couple of days. Tiffany, you're going to want that sun. The sun's not going to really feel all that warm when temperatures 
are well below freezing. Yeah, but we definitely want that. And then you look yeah. at 66 in a week, and I mean, that's going to feel like summer compared oh, to today. It's going to feel amazing. <laughs> yes, but some of that snow may last until Christmas Day. Which if makes you got it a little bit. A little fun. You know, think of a white Christmas. Some of us may have white Christmas this year. There we go. Technically, yeah. Well, that's fun to hear at least. It we is. just need it to warm up a little bit, which it will by Christmas. Sure, it will. All right. Well, thanks yeah. for that, Matt. And here's a live look from the Ardon camera at the Beaver Lake Bridge east of Sonora. Matt will be back with another look at traffic where you live right after the break.